It is officially Friday afternoon. I think it's like 1.30 or like 1.15 in the afternoon. I have survived my first week here in Saipan, both at home and at school. I thought I had a lot more patience built up than I do. So here's the thing. I am a great mother and I, I believe that. And so I've built a lot of patience for my one son. Now I have like eight sons and eight daughters all at once for a lot of the week. <laughs> so I just have to increase my threshold for repeating instructions, being compassionate and considerate. Um, but I also had to be honest with them. So today, when I got overwhelmed with all of their talking at the same time, everyone calling teacher at the same time, I was honest with myself, and I'm in a visual representation of doing breathing exercises. So I turned around, I put my forehead on the wall, and I breathed. I did like a breathing square where you go like, you draw the square with your breath, so it's like, and you hold, and you hold at the bottom, right? So I did that. I think I got up to 10, 10 seconds of breathing up, 10 seconds of holding it, 10 seconds of breathing down, or breathing up, yeah, breathing down and holding that. They really caught on that way, that I was done that I was done with being talked over, I was done with not being listened to. So they started to help when it came to getting other students to listen. So we did a review of the week. And that is over here. So we talked about things that we liked about this week, right? Everyone liked the pizza party, the field trip and all that. Things we didn't like, they said, was like math, science, and language arts. That's their, their three subjects that they don't quite like. Also, they don't like PE, but I can't help that because it's hot outside. And that was their main complaint. Something that they also complained about, complaint is not the right word, they also spoke up about, there we go, was that the schedule that I've been told about for second and first grade is different from the one that they were actually using. So I said, let's do the schedule the way that it's been written out for me one more time for one more week. And next Friday, we'll review what happened again and we will do our best to adjust it so that it works for everybody. So I hope that next week will be easier. And I know it will be because I now have access to lesson plans and I'm gonna move the desk around one more time. And I'm going to do my best to be more centered. That's the word. Because very easily, not very easily, that's not right. I'm not giving myself enough credit. I forget that I'm new at this, that I've not been in this arena for a while. I need to give myself more grace. I need to give them more grace because we're all new to each other. So I pray for guidance and I hope that you guys will join me in that prayer. I like my kids. I love my kids all of their cute little personalities and their little quirks. It's just a matter of finding out how to work best with my kids and how to keep them engaged and how to, you know, to know where we are in the curriculum it was a struggle this week, but that's okay because now we're up and at them. So I'm excited actually for this next week because I have more to work off of. I don't have to wing it as much as I did this week. And I survived my first week. 
I thrived a little bit. So I'm really excited and I'm really thankful for this opportunity. Um, I learned about typhoon season this morning. <laughs> I feel like I should have known it. I should have. Okay, let me stop saying that. I could have known more about typhoon season, but I now know more. So just remember to give yourselves grace and prepare as much as you can and let God do the rest. No, don't do that. Let God do everything and prepare as best you can for what you can see. God bless you guys. I now have to grade, put in grades, and rearrange my room and assign all the books. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun organizing because if you know me, you know I love to organize. That's what I'm off to until about three, four o'clock my time. So about three hours worth of organizing. I'm so excited. And then I'm off to home to organize before the Sabbath starts. My second Sabbath in Saipan. Love you guys. Bye.